the beast with ten horns and seven heads, unveiling the ultimate battle of good versus evil. Imagine a vision so powerful, it reveals the ultimate battle between good and evil. A vision that speaks of a beast rising from the sea, adorned with crowns and blasphemous names. This is not just any story. This is the vision that John saw, as written in the book of Revelation. Stay with us as we unravel this mysterious prophecy and explore its deeper meanings. John, exiled on the island of Patmos, had a vision. He saw a beast rising from the sea. An image so terrifying, it shook him to his core. This beast had ten horns and seven heads, each crowned with royal authority. But these crowns weren't symbols of honor. They bore names of blasphemy, mocking God's holy name. The beast was like a leopard, swift and cunning. Its feet, like those of a bear, were powerful and crushing. And its mouth, fierce and deadly like a lion's. But this beast was not acting alone. The dragon, a symbol of ultimate evil, gave the beast its power, its throne, and great authority. One of the beast's heads seemed to be fatally wounded, a sign of its downfall. But in a shocking turn of events, the wound was healed. This miraculous recovery left the world in awe. People from every corner of the earth were amazed and began to follow the beast. They worshipped the dragon, the source of the beast's power, and they worshipped the beast itself, proclaiming, who is like the beast? Who can possibly stand against it? Their words echoed a dangerous truth. The world was being deceived. But this power came with a price. The beast was given a mouth to speak great blasphemies against God, bold, arrogant words that mocked his name and his dwelling place. For 42 months, the beast was allowed to exercise its authority, spreading lies and leading people astray. The beast's words weren't just empty boasts. They were designed to deceive, to draw people away from the truth and into the darkness. But what does this mean for us today? Is this just an ancient prophecy, or does it carry a message for our time? The story of the beast in Revelation is more than just a prophecy. It's a warning, a call to remain vigilant and grounded in faith. So, what can we learn from this vision? How can we apply these lessons to our lives in a world filled with deception and false promises? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Share your reflections in the comments below. And if you found this exploration intriguing, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into biblical prophecies and their relevance today. Though the beast may rise and speak blasphemies, there is hope. The book of Revelation doesn't end with the beast's triumph, but with the ultimate victory of good over evil. Let's stay connected to that hope and continue our journey of faith together.